two options to a card saying you're vaccinated against yellow fever. We ask if they've been inoculated before, if not, so that we can give them the inoculation that will cover them for 10 years before they can be able to obtain the certificate. Then the second option, most of them have been taking the inoculation before, so they just come for replacement. The disease is caused by a tiny Aedes aegypti mosquito affecting 508 million people in 33 African countries alone. The authenticity of the cards came into question in the deportation of more than 100 Nigerians from South Africa last year. Out of the confusion was that years ago, uh, the National Council on Health, in their wisdom at that time, years ago, some years ago, felt to make it easy for Nigerians to obtain it, they wanted to decentralize. So they now permitted state governments, even private sector, to be able to print their own yellow card and issue as well as the federal government. But because there was no control, we found that there were gaps. So now, National Council of Health has reversed that decision and now says it must only be printed by the Federal Ministry of Health. October marks the end of the old cards. The new ones at 1,000 Naira each comes with enhanced security features. Stamping is coded specially and the paper can take ink from regular pens. Anywhere we find a fake yellow card, we can easily identify it. We have further but trusted with special uh, stamps. These stamps are also coded. No two offices in Nigeria have the same code. As soon as we see a yellow card, we see the code, we know from which office it comes from. And the barrel that we are using is special security ink. Likewise, the ink for the pad is special security ink. At every stage, we are prepared. And not just that have we concluded these arrangements, we have put in place a monitoring mechanism to make sure that we keep testing the security features of the card and make sure that it is safe.